What is going on, beautiful folks? Today, we're going to be talking about is there anything that will make a narcissist revalue you? You heard about the devalue. Can they ever revalue you and treat you better? If you're new here, my name is Lee Hammack. I'm a self-aware narcissist, and welcome to another episode of The Narcissist Code. Boom. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back, folks. Yes. Revaluation. <laughs> that is actually an actual word. Is there a way to make them revalue you, treat you better after they start to devalue you? You know, if you don't know, there's uh, four stages in a normal cycle of a narcissistic relationship, right? Love bombing, devaluation, uh, discard Hoover. In my cycle of narcissistic relationships, I have a, uh, I have a course called the seven stages of a narcissistic relationship. There's seven stages. There's selection, picking, love bombing, fracturing, devaluation, discard, recycle, and maybe Hoover. Seven stages. You can find it at courses.mentalhealthness.net along with my support group as well. But once the devi, I go over this in my courses and when I write, once the, a narcissist stops love bombing you, they typically start devaluing you, right? They typically start devaluing you fast. Like they stop treating you well, uh, fast. You know, love bomb ends quick. Hold on. Ends quick. I had, had a video idea. Y'all had to write it down. Uh, I might see that video later tomorrow or something like that. Um, but once they start to devalue and take the love away, start to treat you differently, start to treat you worse, it's typically over. It's no, the relationship will never, ever be the same. Once they stop treating you well, once they start treating you like crap, once they start putting you through the worst time of your life and taking you through the ringer and whatnot, it's typically going to be done, y'all. And this is not me trying to be, no, not trying to bring, bring doom and gloom into your life or whatnot, but typically this is how it goes. This is like once they devalue you, take away, strip the value away. Devalue means to strip away the value. Once they start to do that, they don't ever, like, like very, very rarely do they ever bring it back. Just because they devalue you and discard you doesn't mean that they will absolutely break up with you, y'all. Emotional discards exist. When they emotionally disconnect from you, they emotionally discard you. And typically when they emotionally discard you, they're trying to emotionally connect to someone else, right? They're trying to emotionally connect to another person, to connect to somebody else and whatnot, and try to try to get what they want from you. That happens to so many people, right? But in the, the title of this video is revalue. Is there any way to make them start, like to give you your value back? Is there any way, like Lee, can, like once they, is, the devaluation phase sounds sounds rough and like, they, it sounds like it's completely over. Most of the times it is. Most of the times it is, y'all, seriously. But narcissists typically don't revalue people. They don't add value back to people unless, unless there is some type of benefit in it for the narcissist. Of course, Lee, of course, I could have guessed that. I guessed that from the beginning. I put that in the comment section. You, I'm, I'm on to you, Lee Hammock. Yes, they might start to revalue you if they see a benefit in it for them. Like they can discard you and try to hoover you back in because your life has gotten better. Like you've had a glow up journey. Imagine them coming. Imagine this person coming into your life. You're in peak physical condition, right? Um, it's not me trying to body shame anybody. Like you're in peak physical condition, right? They come into your life. Uh huh. They stress you the hell out. You stop working out, you gain weight. Now they start to devalue you because you've gained weight. They start to treat you worse because you gain weight, right? Imagine that. And then they discard you because you gain weight. They take, they pick on you too. They tell you, they're like, I'm gonna, oh, you gain weight. You look horrible. You're not the same person you were. Uh, da, 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 blah, 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 bless, blah, 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 that. They do that type of stuff to people all the time, right? But imagine they, they discard you. You're heartbroken. You're going through the like you've been discarded. You're fighting. You haven't been hoovered. You're depressed. You join my support group. You join somebody else's support group. You start finding these videos on YouTube. You start to heal. You finally break free. You've been no contact for a certain period of time. You got you back in the gym. You lose weight again. 
Yeah, your body looking good, cheeks good, everything good, right? Guess what? Guess who sees it? Your narcissistic partner sees a picture that you posted online about being fit and in shape again. Guess what? Now they try to revalue you. Now they see they see there's a benefit in it for them to come back into your life because you look good, because they can get some narcissistic supply from you. Typically, once a narcissist starts to devalue you, they see they they no longer see themselves as the, the they don't see the possibility of them getting any more narcissistic supply uh, as a as a viable as viability. Right? They don't see it as viable anymore. But now that you look good, now that possibility does exist. They're like, damn. Well, wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. I ain't know you look like this. You know what I mean? I ain't know. I I, I ain't know you look like this. So they reach out to you. It's not just. It's just, yeah, It's not just physical either. It could be. You. It could be like you've got your. You graduated from college. You got a better job. Now you. You're more financially stable. They broke up with you because you were broke. They discarded you because you were broke. Now you look. Back then they didn't want you. Now you hot. They all on you. You blow up on social media. You mean you're famous? You 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 got a great job. Your face is getting out there. You're on the news or whatever it is. They see some type of value in it for them. So your re them revaluing revaluing you has everything to do with how they perceive your benefit to themselves. How do you benefit me now? Back in the day, because you had gained weight, I couldn't get no narcissistic supply from you. Back in the day. When you were when you were broke and un, didn't have, you didn't grow you dropped out of school because you were stressed out because I stressed you out yeah I I got no supply from that like I didn't get, like you your, your jokes no longer made me laugh I started looking at you differently now you look now you had like now you had boundaries you had you started setting boundaries in the relationship you started holding me accountable in the relationship now that uh, now that enough time has passed by you and I feel like things have changed in your life here I come again because. That's what that's what happens. They come again because they see a benefit in it from them. Like like they see you climbing the mountain without them and they know more people are going to want you. So that's that's when they will hoover you. You ever got out of a relationship, a toxic relationship, it took you to the darkest place of your life. And then they re you got out of it. You start climbing again. And that person came back and you thought they had changed. You gave them, gave them another chance and they took you took your ass right back to the depths. That happens to so many people. There are so many people that I talk to that are on their healing and growth journey that have gotten out of it, that have escaped, that are doing well, and then they, they, they be at the peak. They be at the peak of their life, and then guess what happens? While at the peak of their life, boom! Here comes their narcissistic ex. While you're peaking, P E A K I N G, not peaking, not like this. They, look, you're peaking like you're climbing the peak of the mountain. They're peaking at you through social media. You're peaking, they're peaking. <laughs> both of you are both of you are doing your own peaking, but one of them is beneficial and the other one is creepy. Right. This <laughs> you're both peaking at the same time. <laughs> um, but this is what happens. They're peeking in on you while you're peaking in life. This happens to so many people, y'all. So when you're climbing this mountain, when you're doing well for yourself, when you're, ha when you're glowing up and you're having the time of your life that you escaped, you're celebrating a year no contact, guess what happens? Ring, ring, bing, doo -doo 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 -doo. boom, message. Damn, they come in, uh, they can sense it. They can, uh, some narcissists have a sixth sense of when you're doing well. So you can add, if you can add value to me, I will add value to you back into my life, into my mind. Like if you can, like I said, this happens to so many people. If you can add value to me, then I can add value to me, you in some other way, some way, shape or form, right? This can happen to a lot of people. It does, it does happen to a lot of people. Like because I've added this value to you, because I've added, like because I see you doing well, because I see you growing, because I see you thriving, because I see you doing the best that you can do, this happens so this happens time and time again. It really does, y'all. It really, really does. I, I feel like don't let them come back and disrupt your peace. Narcissistic narcissistic people tend to be agents of chaos. They love to be they love to be chaotic in your life. They love to cause chaos and ruckus in your life, in your space. They love to do this type of stuff, y'all. So this is what I'm just letting you know right now. If they're being an agent of chaos in your life, if they were an agent of chaos before, they're going to be an agent again. I don't give a damn. It's been five years. If they haven't put in any type of work, like past time does not mean that people get better. Just because enough time has passed by does not mean that that person has gotten any better. 
I'll say that again. Just because enough time has got, gone by does not mean that that person has gotten any better. You see, like this is the type of stuff that you have to start working on with your mind and your mentality because they will ruin your damn life years later. And you, guess what happens? You're going to be mad as hell because you let them back into your life. Very rarely have I, have I met anybody in my on my journey that has given an abusive narcissist a second chance later in life and has gotten better. Very rarely has that happened. Very rarely has the narcissistic person or abuser gotten better over time, came back into your life and treated you better for an extended period of time. It typically always goes downhill. Always. It typically always goes downhill. Like this is the type of stuff that people need to start like that. You need to start preparing for because they're, I'm just telling you, I'm not saying, I'm just saying they're going to ruin your damn life. And you'll be upset, y'all. You're going to be upset, but you're going to be more upset at yourself for letting them back into your life. You're going to be mad as hell at them, but you're going to be mad as hell. You're going to be madder at yourself. You'll be angrier at yourself for letting them back into your life. So when I tell you it's healing season, that's exactly what I mean. It's absolutely healing season for you. you know, so keep healing, keep growing, keep thriving, keep surviving, keep moving forward. Because this is how you, this is how you grow. This is how we grow together. You know what I mean? Because that narcissistic person, they can, they can add, just because they're adding value to you, just because they re revaluing you, does not mean that they think better of you. Don't let that go over your head. They, they think they can still, they probably think that they can still get over on you in some way, shape, or form, just because enough time has went by. Meanwhile, y'all, they have tuned into another live. I'm not not alive. What am I doing? My mind's going blank. I'm about to revalue myself, reevaluate myself. Um, thank y'all for tuning in. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. November second and November third, Dallas and Houston, Texas live events, live in per live and in person event, y'all. November second, November third, live in your face. Check out mentalhealness.net slash events to get registered for in person events where you get to you get to you get to be around the energy, the crowd, the community of healing, growth, and thriving. I'll be there. My friend Neil Renee will be there. Mentalhealness.net slash events. We will see y'all there. Mental Healthness is out. Peace. Thank you so much for making it to the end of my video. I am extremely grateful for you have no idea. If you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It helps reach more people. And click on the screen to watch another video or to browse through another playlist. There's also a link on the screen to check out my courses and my support groups to help you heal and understand what you've been through. Thank you so much again. I will see you in the next video. Peace.